Hello. Am I live? I am live. <laughs> I never know. It's like I get these notifications from YouTube. As I'm going live, it's like, don't do that, YouTube. You're messing things up. Right here is a uh, house that was used in Dexter. Uh, we're in Long Beach, California right now. This house was in season four. And it, I believe part of season five. Forgive me, I'm a little rusty on what seasons it was in. But I know it was in season four. And that's where Rita and, uh, and Dexter lived after they got married. This is the house right here. And this house right here was built in 1922. It's a three story, uh, sorry, three story. Obviously it's one story. It's a three bedroom, one bath house. And I um, figured I'd do a little bit of a live thing talking about some Dexter stuff like I'm doing right now. <laughs> and then I just want to talk a little bit about the future of my channel because some things have happened. This is a big street and I don't want to get I don't want to get ran over. So I'm gonna cross the street. There's the Dexter house right there, season four. And I think I'm gonna walk down to another filming location of Dexter as well here in Long Beach. And if things go things go well, then I will maybe walk to Mia's apartment from La La Land. So it's a little bit of a walk, so things would have to go really well here. Would have to have a demand for it. And so far, there is nobody on here, so I just want to take a little bit of time, hang out here. I don't know if anybody's going to jump on or not. If you are on, sometimes the little calculation thing up here takes a while to uh, show that anybody's on there. So if you're on, leave me a message. Give me a thumbs up or something or whatever. That'll let me know. But yep, that's the Dexter's house right there. That's the, the Dexter's house. That's the Dexter house right there. Um, and yeah, I'm going to walk. I'm going to see if I can walk down. There's another. It's an apartment. Um, and it's another character. I can't remember the character's name. So I won't remember the character's name if I walk down there anyway. I did not brush up on that before I left. So, anyway, right now we are looking at Dexter's house from the fourth, uh, the fourth season, and I believe part of the fifth season as well. So I don't want to just focus on this house; that would get a little boring. But you know, I believe this house is over a hundred years old now. In uh, 2022, it became 100 years old, and it was built in 19. 22 so 100 years old crazy crazy um so not only is it part of movie history but it's part of history and just just in general it's part of history um i also wanted to talk a little bit about the future of my channel i don't i don't ever plan these lives it's just kind of like a spur of the moment thing and that's one of the things i want to change is I do want to start planning my live videos. Um, I'd like to, you know, I would like to eventually get to the point where I have a day where I go live, whether it's once a month or maybe it's, you know, maybe two times a month. I don't think I'll be, I don't really have time to go once a week. And I think that's a little too much for the size of my channel right now anyway. I don't think there's much demand for me to go live, but uh, uh, someone jumped on here. I was just looking at the Dexter's, I keep on saying Dexter's house, the Dexter house, which is from season four. Let's turn this back around. Cause I did, I did title. It's this one right here. Where's my finger? I can't, there it is. There's my finger and it's pointing right at the Dexter house. You can get close again. I started out over there. See, I've already been going on for about four, a little over four minutes. It's a big street. It's a, so I gotta look out for cars. But yeah, this is the, this is the Dexter house. And like I said, it's, it's a hundred years old. It's 100 years old. As of last year, as of 2022, 
it uh, became 100 years old. So it's not only part of uh, cinema history, it is also part of history now because 100 years old, that's a century. That's one century old, right? Am I correct in it? Wait, it's a century. Century is 100 years, right? It's not 50 years. Let's see, who's that? Skippy, what's up? Never seen Dexter. My bad. Oh man, it's a great show. Um, the, the interesting thing about Dexter is it, uh, it's, it's all pretty much filmed between season one all the way up to season eight. It was filmed right here in Long Beach. So a lot of, a lot of filming locations here in Long Beach Oh wow, there's a lot of a lot of traffic now. I'm trying to I'm trying to cross again. I don't want to look like some kind of creepoid creepo standing outside of someone's house. But yeah, so most of Dexter was filmed right here in Long Beach. Even though it was the show took place uh, in Florida, Florida, Miami, it really was filmed right here. I mean you got all the film executives, right? Got the big wigs living right here in LA County. And so nobody wants to pack up and go all the way over to Florida. When you got it when you got a when you got a town that already kind of looks a little like Florida with all the palm trees and the ocean and everything else. So um, yeah. There it is. Right back there. Bye bye. We're gonna walk away from it though. Don't like to hang on too long. Hey, collecting with cool, what's going on, man? Happy Sunday, Greg. Hope things have been good yeah they've been okay starting off good for me so far okay awesome um so anyway uh i always have a problem with this this chat box here because i don't know it always goes blank after a while like i need time to read this i don't have okay the cunningham house from Happy Days is on south of Melrose, just so you know. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, uh, I've been wanting to go check that out, actually. Um, that is one of the houses that I have not gotten out to yet. Plenty of stuff I haven't gotten out to yet, which kind of leads me into my next next uh, topic of this video is my plan. So as I, as I talk a little bit about my plans, I'm not going to make this too long. It's just going to be uh, it's just going to be um, a real quick little one here. So um, yeah, there's all kinds of movie houses and stuff in Long Beach. So I'm always just wrapped up in Long Beach. There's plenty of other stuff I want to cover. That's kind of what I want to talk about, the future of my channel. You know, I want to do some movie, more movie locations. Um, I also want to go live uh, a little more often than I have been going. Um, I was, I have been monetized um, as of, I don't know, I think it was January 4th or January 5th or something like that. So. Um, I figured, you know, ah, here it is. All right. This is the, another, another building. It's actually an apartment. So I feel a little more comfortable standing in front of an apartment. So I don't look so, so stalkerish in front of a house for so long. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, my plans are to do more filming locations. Uh, I want to do more, um, I just want to do more videos in general, really get out there. I'm really trying to work on my delivery and my videos. I think I'm getting better. I'm not the greatest at the delivery. I think I focus so much on, on editing that my, my delivery in my videos are a little, a little lacking, if I'm gonna be honest. So, and I have gotten much better to go back and look at some of my older videos. I am so much better than I was when I first started. I was really monotone, really nervous. I get nervous when I turn on the camera a lot of times. I'm gonna turn this around right here. Let's see, how do I turn this around? 
because this this apartment right here is and if you guys if you can do me a favor i hate to ask this but because the algorithm uh feeds off of this stuff please hit the like button if you're still on there um so i'm going to turn this around we're going to look at uh let's see i got to figure out how to turn this around i always forget turn around here turn around there it is this was also in dexter it's just down the road from the dexter house and i cannot remember i cannot remember the person that lived here it was one of the detectives um but anyway this is part of yeah this is also in uh in dexter I can't remember what season. I think it might have also been in season four. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anybody watching this uh, now or any time after. Um, but this this also was in Dexter. Um, I believe they had some conversations right here on this wall right here. And uh, yeah. And there was a few outside shots of this, so it's documented in the in the in the series. It's been a while since I've seen Dexter, so I'm not gonna remember everything. It's been it's been a really long time. I probably should have brushed up on some of my some of my uh, Dexter history before I went out. It's been a while, but yep, that one that there was uh, one of the characters apartment complex or apartment uh, buildings anyway figured I'd figured I'd come on down and show a couple of these houses just so it's not all about me I kind of wanted to do uh, do something a little different and so I have a few plans I got I have a few plans that I want to do with my channel it's gonna be some twist it's gonna be like movie locations but i think i'm gonna add a i'm gonna try a little twist i'm not sure if they're gonna work out or not you know it's like it's one of those things where you, youtube is so finicky right you don't know what people really want and what people are just like eh. and also i think um i was i was as i was talking earlier i, I do want to work on my delivery of of my um my videos because I think maybe my writing can can improve. I'm always looking to improve, um, and I feel like at the beginning I was really into uh, just hitting that, hitting that uh, uh, editing, you know, getting my editing skills down. Really trying to get get my editing skills down, you know. And I, I think I, I did that pretty. I think I did that pretty quick. And I think now it's like time to move on and and work work on something else as a as a youtuber and just just to try to improve myself as i as i go for you know go further into my uh my youtube career if you want to call that uh if you want to call it that um so yeah so i think my my next my next leveling up moment is uh to really hit on hit my 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 writing skills. I'm not the greatest writer. It's one of my problems. I've never been a very, very good writer. Um, but you know, I mean, there's always time to learn. It's never too late to learn how to, how to get better at something. And I'm going to, I'm going to really, I'm going to, I'm going to really strive to, to get that done. Um, but yeah, I also I really want to do, I don't want to give away too much, but want to, I want to do like some twists on on filming locations, and I think I think these I think these twists might kind of uh, build up kind of a an interest, you know, something outside of just just a filming location, just uh, saying, hey, this is a filming location from a movie back in the blah blah blahs. You know, back in 19 whatever, whatever year it was filmed, um, it'll, it'll, ha it'll have more twist to it. And I, I don't know if it's going to work out or not, like I said. So anyway, moving on from that. Um, that's the only, that was the only Dexter houses I had. Um, 
those are those are the only ones close to me like i said i have a there is a uh, mia apartment that's uh not too far it's from uh, la la land it's uh the mia apartment mia apartment from la la land and uh, i'm walking over the to the beach right now and a lot going on but anyway uh so yeah, I, uh, you know, it's, you, you, for me, I, I always put up videos that are interesting and I think a lot of people will like. It's really windy over here. My hat's about to fall off. And I don't know if you guys can hear me with the wind, but let me know if it gets too windy. We can walk away from the beach area. But I, uh, you know, you never know what's gonna work. Um, I thought I thought my last couple of videos were really interesting. I thought more people would be interested in them. And the only thing I can think of, the reason why my videos didn't get pushed out, is because the algorithm. Um, maybe my maybe maybe my uh, my delivery was not uh, up to par for people. I don't know what it is. You never know what it is. You kind of wish that maybe there was like some kind of uh, of an indication why people bounce from your video too soon but um i've been trying new things i did the di the port of disney the failure of the port of disney and uh hardly anybody watched it got a little over 200 views and it was kind of a bummer i thought it would get a little more than that i thought people would be a little more into that that video uh, which by the way was filmed i don't know if it's going to show up i don't even um, no, that's the island. Let's see. I'm going to try to show where the Port of Disney is from here. Let's see if I can find it. Actually, let me just turn this camera around because it's a, lot, it's a lot easier if I just turn the camera around. So, see if I can. Can I zoom? I can. Let's see. Right there, you can see that. You can see that boat see where my finger is that right there is where the port of Disney was going to uh, that's where the port of Disney was going to be right over there and I did a video on that I did some live shots you know I went over there and I I filmed it and I I did uh, and on top of that I did I, I, I kind of did a little bit of history kind of uh, pre-recorded history type thing and then at the end of the video, I thought it was a good video, but um, it did not. Apparently, other people had had other uh, had other thoughts because I thought I saw somebody. I don't know how to pop this thing back up. The there we go. Don't sweat views, man. Just keep creating great stuff, and the greatness will follow you. Yeah, man. I mean, I understand that. I understand that. But you know. My thing is, is like, you know, you have, you have some videos that do really well. And I, I was having a lot of videos doing, you know, for my channel. I'm not talking about just, just in general for my channel. They were doing pretty good, you know, around Christmas time. And then after that, everything just went, woo, went down. This pier over here is pretty cool with the island in the background. Turn this around. That pier out there, and there's that island. And um, if you watched uh, the new, the latest Dahmer, the latest Dahmer um, movie, or I should say series, um, I believe I'm not sure. It, so it was filmed the, over there. The Dahmer portion portion of it, a portion of it was filmed here in Long Beach, which was also supposed to be Miami Florida um, and it's over that way and I believe you can see these islands in the background that's how you can tell it's actually not Miami and it was actually Long Beach California um, they did a pretty good job of making it look like Florida I do have a video on that that one did all right uh, people were interested in that one um, it's not quite at a thousand views but you know, I'm I'm always looking to improve. I always want to, you know, get out there and, uh, you know, do the best I can. 
And that's, you know, that's all I can do, you know. Yep, LBC. Yep. Um, yeah, I do. I do appreciate it, though, uh, Skippy. I, I appreciated the uh, the couple of video ideas you gave me. I thought they were fantastic, man. I was like, what? This is so cool. Uh, I, I, I honestly haven't. I, I never heard about those, either one of those. So um, they're probably kind of long forgotten history that a lot of people just kind of forgot about, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, but thank you, man. I mean, they were, they were great ideas. Um, I really, the, the card trick one was just kind of blew my, blew my mind, man. You know, and, and, that, and that, how they were able to, to get that, that, you know, that, I mean, it's basically a magic trick, kind of like a punchline almost in a way. And they were able to get it in something, you know, um, like the uh, not the into the cemetery they did. I'm I'm drawing a little bit of a blank on what the cemetery is now, um, but I, it's it's just it's mind blowing how they were able to do that. Um, and then the, the 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 Hollywood Forever. I mean that is such an amazing that's that's such an amazing cemetery. I got to do more stuff there. It's just fun to walk around the the Hollywood Forever Cemetery because it's just. Looking at all the landscape, looking at all that, um, it's just that in itself is just just fun to look at. Um, I just noticed I'm looking down there on the beach. There's a, people sitting in a circle. Uh, it's pretty windy today, and it's a little bit of a sandstorm going on. Not a sandstorm, but. There's a lot of sand being blown around because it's a, a little breezy today here in Long Beach. Turn that around and see if you guys can see that. Ah, turn it around. Um, yeah, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, there they are. See that? It's like it's a bunch of people sitting in a circle. Maybe it's some kind of freaky seance. Who knows? <laughs> Secrets of Long Beach. Yeah, I really appreciated some of the stuff you said, Skippy, on your last video. I was, and I was... Nope, intended, or maybe maybe pun intended. Preach on, brother. I, uh, I agreed with a lot of that stuff you were saying, man. I was like, yep, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. Although, however, I, I did not serve in the military like you did. Yeah, it's such an awesome place, and I would appreciate that, man. Maybe we can make a, maybe we can do a, a, a little collaboration or something. I can, I can film it. You can, you can do, uh, do a little bit of a, a tour or something. You probably know more a lot, a lot more than me, man. I'm a San Francisco kid. I, I. I I'm I'm pretty new around LA, so uh, I don't I don't know everything, you know. I don't have the lot. There's a lot of uh, other YouTubers that do uh, videos around here, and they've been living around LA for much longer than me. And um, hell yeah, cool man, cool. Maybe uh yeah, maybe we can do something next month or something. I'll uh I'll I'll hit you up. I'll hit you up uh, later on, and we can can figure out something maybe maybe have some plan on what we're going to do ahead of time and then you can uh you can present a lot of the stuff i would love to do that um but yeah i don't i don't have the you know i don't i i know a lot more about the bay area than i do about uh I've been here two decades i've been i've seen some stuff i bet man i bet uh I like I said I'm 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 San Francisco originally. I've only been here for for two years, so I'll tell you ghost stories from the comedy store. Oh yeah, is it um? Is, I the is the comedy store is that like a is that known to be haunted or something? That'd be interesting. I mean you know you can always uh. I think uh, for right now it'd be cool just to do the 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 uh, you know Hollywood Forever sign, and then after uh, not not 
Hollywood Forever sign. Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Come on, Greg. Wake up. Um, yes. Super haunted. Wow. That's cool, man. I'd love to hear some of that. I don't, I don't particularly believe in ghosts and stuff, but I do like, I do like a good ghost story. I, um, you know, I got, I got the Queen Mary here. I want to do some, I want to do some ghost stories on the Queen Mary. I've been reading up a lot. I mean, I'm in the town now. I live here now. So it's like Queen Mary is just a hop, skip and a jump away from me. I, I, I've been wanting to go out there and even though I don't, I don't really, I don't believe in, in ghosts or spirits or anything. I find them fascinating. I find, I find that kind of stuff really fascinating. I love, I love a good ghost story, even though I don't believe. Uh, my name, my name's on the wall there and my buddy Craig Gass and I used to hunt them, hunt them on the, on the regular place. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you, you probably know a lot more about LA than I would. I, I, you know, I, I still got a lot to learn, man. I, I'm here and I'm ready to, I'm ready to learn the history though. I mean, I do love, I'm a musician, so I love, I love, uh, ghosts are neat. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I think. Ghosts are neat. Um, they're neat to think about, but yeah, I just, I have a, I have a, a little bit of a hard time believing in, in stuff like that personally. You know, I grew up, grew up in a Christian family, you know, and it's, uh, it's one of those things where I just kind of, kind of left behind all that kind of stuff. Turn this back around. Oh, every time I do that, it doesn't flip, flip over. When I first got into town, I went to all all the remaining bars from the movie Barfly. Oh, nice. Yeah, I just I just went out there and I um I, I did a video in the Viper Room not too long ago. Um and reading up on the history of that one, whoo, man, that's a, that's a pretty, that's some, that's some pretty uh, deep history right there, man. Uh, it's, I'm still, I'm still up in the, I'm still kind of, uh, I'm a little confused on what is going to happen to the Viper Room. Because I've, I've read some things, I've, I've read some places that it's going to be torn down, and then I read other places that it's going to, it's going to be repurposed. I don't know. I'm like, I, I have no idea. So in, I, I, in San Francisco, we had a place called the Elbow Room. And the Elbow Room is kind of like our your guys' Viper Room. Um, <laughs> screw Diaper Room. Check out the rainbow. Oh, I, no, I plan on it. I plan on it. Very, very much plan on it. Those are those are some those are some future plans. I'm always thinking about stuff in the future, things to, things to do next, what video to do next. Um, you know, I'm largely a pop culture channel, and I got to start acting like one. So um, those are the those are the things that I I plan on getting to very soon, sooner sooner than later. That's for sure. Um, I just I like the history of the Viper Room. That's all. Um, it's got some dark history. Uh, you know, you got I don't know a lot of a lot of shit went down there. <laughs> I'm just like a lot of a lot of deep deep stuff went down there, man. Um, and so I was just really interested in the, in the history. I'm not so sure I uh, I nailed the pre presentation of that video, but. Um, it was fun to do. Uh, let's see. I used to go get drunk and play uh, Mega Touch with Lemmy from Mailer Motorhead at the Rainbow and have. Oh, and that's that's cool, man. I have pick, picks to prove it. That's pretty awesome, man. Um, he seems like a pretty uh, 
he, he seemed like he was a pretty, you know, uh, humble, I guess is the word, humble guy, in the sense that, you know, he didn't, he didn't uh, take his his stardom to uh, to the next level where you you felt like you couldn't approach him, you know. I, I feel like, I feel like he was pretty approachable. He's a legend. Will be missed, and I do uh, I do want to do uh, get over to his gravesite in the future. Was the funniest person ever. He was the funniest person ever. Totally humble, smart as hell too. Oh, I bet. I, I um, yeah, I've seen some interviews. I've seen a lot of interviews with, with, uh, with him, and in, I could tell he's, it's pretty sharp, man. Pretty sharp. Knows what he's talking about, and took no bullshit. You know. Took no BS. I guess because I'm monetized, I should probably watch my mouth. Not not cuss so much. But anyway, those are the plans, uh, you know, for my the future of my 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 channel is I'm gonna do some twist on certain things that people do all the time, but I'm gonna add a little twist to them. I I don't know if it's gonna go well. I hope it does. See how long have I been on? I don't want to go too long. About 31 minutes. Crossing the street. Fun time crossing the street. Yeah, trying to uh, trying to get a strong audience on YouTube is not not the easiest thing to do. Uh, let's see, anything I, anything just have fun. That's the best reason to do everything. Yeah, no, I I, I absolutely agree. I mean, if I really wanted to uh, grow a channel, I I could change my need. My, my niche or my niche or whatever you want to call it and probably grow 10 times faster. I do this because this is what I love. Let me back up here. It's a little, I'm a little close to the street. I'm a little close to the camera too. Um, but this is what I love. I mean, I, I, I love kind of uh, music history, movie history, just pop culture and Americana in general just really interests me and that's why I do it. Uh, you know, um, and I, I love learning about this stuff too. Um, you know, I I love I love going uh, much deeper into the history than I ever have before. You know, like I, I know I know the a lot of the basics. You know, obviously. I mean, I you know I'm a I'm a Gen Xer. We love we love our music. We love uh, you know. For decades <laughs> that were that were uh, our time to shine, you know, we love that kind of stuff, and um, you know, I I, I really want to get uh, want to get more into uh, I'm gonna get deeper into uh, uh, some of the music history. Um, I got some got some stuff kind of up here in the head, up here in the noggin, just hanging out, just hanging out there, waiting for me to to to, to do a video on that topic. It's just sitting in there and um i'm gonna get to it i just you know i got a lot of other things going on in life as well nothing nothing's perfect i can't i can't focus all on youtube you know it's a it's a it's a balance it's a balance you know i got a full-time job i gotta do that and i gotta pay the bills and you know catch up on stuff and it's not easy it's not, it's not running a youtube channel and trying to get it out there and trying to work on things that you want to work on it's not always the easiest thing to do the balance to balance all this stuff um, but uh, you know it keeps me busy though it's it's kind of like my hobby I, I went from music playing guitar to painting now my new love is making videos and check this out I've always liked these things and open it up take a book well, little 
little book thing there. You can take a book and read it and return it back there, kind of like a a little trust. It's a, kind of on the trust, uh, you know, system. They trust you to take the book, read it, bring it back when you're done. Such a nice neighborhood. I really love Long Beach. Long Beach is this one. It's such a beautiful, beautiful city. I'm, I'm really, I'm really happy to be living here. I loved Long, I, I loved uh, San Francisco too, but I don't know. After a while, San Francisco kind of just, you know, kind of grinds on your nerves with all the stuff going on there. It's just after a while, i you just, you just kind of start understanding it. Not to get political, this channel is not political, but you just start understanding that the politicians are pretty much all about themselves. They don't really care about anybody else. Anyway, um, I saw a couple of new comments here. Let me, let me open that up. The location for the cover of NWA, NWA's first album cover is near Santa Monica and wine if you ever wanted to check check it out yeah now I did a uh, I did a short I did a short on um, a couple of the NWA houses uh, went by Dr. Dre's childhood home I need to do a longer video on that um that that's going to be in the future i don't live too far from uh from that area i mean it's from where i'm at it's probably a good 30 35 minutes but it's, it, nothing's too far from long beach that's what's great about this place it's another another great thing about another great thing about uh, long beach is this nothing is too far um i was passing the let me uh i'm passing up the uh the apartment that was in uh, Dexter again. I highly recommend. If there is a couple of times, you know, later on, I think season six really starts jumping the shark. But I highly recommend if you haven't seen Dexter to go check it out. It's a great show. Um, it's just I love the twist on it. I love the twist. It's a, it's a great show. Let's see. Um, I saw some. Um, you have the right attitude to get there, bro. Be patient. I'm refreshing some of the things myself. Yeah, yeah. Um, the great life. Hey, Greg. Saw you on the... I popped up and saw... And saw... Hi. Thank you. Well, welcome. Welcome for... Thank you for showing up. Aquarium of the Pacific rules... <laughs> Find it amusing they have fish and chips in the cafe. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty amusing, man. It's kind of little, uh, little morbid. Um, let's see. Oops, popped up to to say hi or saw. Okay, okay, say hi. <laughs> yes, I know, man. The auto correct. Um, I don't know if I'm talking to Jim or Pearl, but yes. The autocorrect is something god awful. It's terrible. Um, I, I have, I, I still have yet to learn to check that auto uh, correction before I send anything. And then when I send it, I'm like, oh, ah! every time, every time. So no worries. Um, we all, we all get duped. We all get duped by the autocorrect. Turn this around here. As we walk back to the uh, the Dexter house from uh, season four, one of my favorite shows. I mean, if it wasn't for Breaking Bad, I would probably say that Dexter is my favorite show ever. Uh, however, <laughs> Breaking Bad exists, so I can't quite say that. Um, but it is it is a close second. Very close second for me. Um, say hi. Oh, okay, that's the same thing. If anybody's hopping in here, please hit that like button. I hate to say that, but the uh, good old algorithm, you know, it feeds off of likes and 
comments and stuff like that and just helps my channel yeah, every little bit helps you know so if you're in the uh if you're in the uh chat at all please uh do me that favor and hit that like button thank you appreciate it i think it went up to three it's a pretty slow sunday i uh i was expecting a little more people show up but um i guess i'm not the you know i'm not the biggest channel not the biggest i don't have the most loyal audience a lot of my audience comes from shorts i will still continue doing shorts i love doing shorts they're uh most of my shorts are my kind of my humor uh more than 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 it is about uh more than it is about pop culture type stuff so uh it is a bit different everybody says well keep your keep your uh your shorts the same as your uh as your 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 long turn your long videos i'm like i don't know i don't know if i agree with that i say do whatever you want my long videos are a completely different animal from my from my and i get every time i i do uh put up a short that has a shorts that has something to do with uh, more pop culture stuff it never does as well as if i just do something quick and funny it, it does much better it just gets a better reaction so i'm just i'm i put up shorts at work i don't just do shorts just because oh my channel's about pop culture so i'm just gonna do pop culture stuff no because pop culture stuff like that doesn't really work that well so that's why I do the shorts the way I do them. Me likey. <laughs> yeah, I got to get over. To, I, I've uh, I've been to the aquarium quite a few different times. I haven't been inside though. Um, so I'm just standing here because this is the uh, Dexter house again, from from season four, just for the people that came here for the Dexter stuff. There it is again. I started out the video with this house. And uh, depending on how well this goes, I might be ending it on this house here. Um, I was hoping I would get a little more people in here, maybe a little more interested. And I would have walked to the Mia apartment from La La Land. Um, but uh, it's a little bit of a walk. So I don't want to, if no one's that interested and I don't have enough people on here. Um, if you're new to the chat, please hit that subscribe button. Really helps me out if you're new to the to this whole live thing here. But yeah, we're just looking at the Dexter house, and I'm just talking about the future of my channel. If you're new and you're just now watching, um, I would like to start doing lives. Maybe I want to say once a month. I'm not I'm not a big enough channel to do a live like some of these big guys out there. They they go live once a week. I can't I can't do that I, I don't have enough I don't have enough uh, uh, momentum just yet and I, I believe I'll get there I'm not worried about it Freddy Krueger's house is near Fairfax all these all these things that you're bringing up uh, Skippy or no I'm spitting um, these are these are things that I have had in my kind of rolling around in my brain just waiting to get out man I've been I've been wanting to uh, get to a lot of these uh, part of these these places, you know. Um, let's see. Go to the aquarium. Fish prison rules. <laughs> yes, it is a fish. Yeah, I mean zoos are kind of prison prison yeah, prison for animals. Really. Um, I'm hoping. I hope. I'm hoping standing here and just kind of chatting like this isn't going to disturb people who live here. It's a little weird to have your house in the background like this, but I mean, you, you should, I, I think they know. I think they know that, you know, Dexter, come on. They know. It's a very popular show. Uh, a lot of people come here and visit this house. And like I said, this house was from, uh, built in uh, uh, 1922 and it reached 100, 100 years old as of last year. In fact, they had a sign up here that said um, it's our house's 100th birthday for a while. It was cute. I don't know. I thought it was cool. And uh, also, it's just, 
you know, it's history and it's movie history too. It's film history, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, FYI, let's see, I, this arrow thing is right in the way. FYI, you're on public property, so they can't, I know, I know. That is true. I, I totally understand that. In fact, I've had videos. Um, if you go look at my uh, video about Dahmer, this I had a camera and I was walking around, and I was in the I was in the, one of the neighborhoods where Dahmer was filmed around in Long Beach, and this woman came out, and she uh, she was she was staring at me, and then she 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 had like this this uh, stroller thing. And she was pushing the stroller thing and she was staring at me. And it was so blatant. It was so like in my face that she was staring at me. You know, she was a she was at least I don't know, twenty to about twenty twenty uh twenty feet. Now probably about a hundred feet away from me, I don't know. Something like that. Fifty to a uh, hundred feet away from me. But she just kept on staring at me, you know, and I was and I, I just got fed up and I started looking looking at her again. I, I looked back at her. She also went by me in her car with her phone and she was talking into it like she was like some kind of like catching like some kind of criminal activity going on while I was sitting there with my camera. I'm like, mind your own business. Mind your own business. And for one thing, it wasn't even her house. It was an apartment complex. There was tons of apartment complexes in this, in this area. And she was going by and she drove by me with her phone and she was talking into it. I'm like, what is this? What is this woman's problem? I'm, 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 I'm steering away from cussing because I don't, you know, I am monetized. I don't want to mess anything up. But and so she, um, she, yeah, she goes by me with this phone, and then, and then I finally ask her. She got out. She got out of her car. She, she did this. She got in her car just to film me to drive by and sneakily, uh, sneakily is that a word? To, she was trying to sneak in of filming me, and I'm like. I can see you. I can see you. I, I don't, this is not. This is not a. This is not a. Um, this is not a secret, lady. You're not. You're not tricking anybody. And then so she comes back and she she parks. Oh, she comes back. She comes back and she parks and uh, she gets out of her car and she's looking at me and I'm like. And then I finally asked her. I was like, Do you have a problem? Is there something wrong? And she's like, Well, you're standing there with that camera. I'm like. Okay, so I'm like, this is pro this is public property, and then she's like, well, I just think it's weird, and I everybody loves using kids as as like some kind of shield. She's like, and I have kids. I'm like, good for you. I'm not doing anything, and then I was like, end of story. I told her, end of story, you know, and she she just walked away. She went into her apartment, but you know, I was just like. I'm literally just standing here with a camera. What do you think I'm going to do to anybody? <laughs> film you? Maybe maybe you're worried that I'm going to film you doing something wrong. I don't know. Anyway, Dexter House right there. We're going to start walking away from that. Yeah, so I know I know all about the the public property stuff and I just I I, I still like to respect people though, you know. I don't want to I don't want to be complete. They should know though. I mean, they should absolutely know if their house is a movie house or a, or a TV show house. Oh, look at here. We got uh, the toll road. Hey, man. Welcome. Uh, toll road. Uh, if you can, please hit that. Uh, yep. First name, Greg. Last name, Vlog Show. It's kind of my new thing in a way. Karen's got Karen, yo. <laughs> got a Karen, yo. Yeah, that's what I said at the end of my video, too. I, I said at the end of my video, I was like, and by the way, uh, I got attacked by a Karen and I stood my ground and that was the end of the video um, I didn't go into it I had a longer speech going on after that but I was like I don't want to bore people with that kind of stuff you know I want to stick to the topic um, yeah please hit that sub uh, not subscribe button hit that uh, like button if you're just jumping on here um, but but she had kids, I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but 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 I have kids. See, that's my problem. I'm like, look, good for you. I'm glad you have kids. I don't care if you have kids or not. What does that have to do with me walking around with a camera? I mean, what do you think I'm gonna do? What, I mean, what what decade do you think we're living? I mean, at this point, if if people are looking at somebody weird because they're talking into a camera like this 
or they're walking around filming something. Where have you been? Where have you been? I mean, I see people walking around all the time, pointing cameras at themselves, pointing phones. Every phone has a camera. What's the difference if I have a camera or a phone camera like I have right now? Nothing. It's just in her crazy, kooky, Karen mind. She thought she had, she thought she had to come at me some way. It was ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. She knows it was. I think she probably went into her apartment and maybe thought about it. Probably not. I don't know. Some people just want to be that way, you know? <sighs> Let's see. Open my phone up here. Yeah, one nation under surveillance. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's true. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, and Karen's man, they, I don't know. You know, I, I catch myself being a little bit of a Karen sometimes and I try to back up or a Ken, whatever you want to call it. Who cares? Um, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but guys, I've been going on for, let's see. Yeah, an hour and an hour and 30 minutes. I think, is that an hour and 30 minutes? No, 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 no. Sorry. I can't see with this damn sun. It's hard to see these screens sometimes. Uh, it's 51 minutes. 51 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, I'll probably call it in, at, at an hour. I figure if I'm going to do this, I'm going to try to do this maybe once, twice a month or something like that. I'm only going to do about an hour. It's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to be any longer than that. I mean, sometimes I'm not even going to have much to say. Okay, first name Karen, last name Vlog Bomb. Yes. Oh, uh, listen. Um, Toll Road. You nailed it. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> I love that. First name Karen, last name Vlog Bomb. That is so funny. Um, Darren's. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Darren's. Um, make Karen's, that is. Yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone. Hey, what's up? No pants garage. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. No parts garage. I'm still going to call you no pants garage. Um, this is a castle house right over here, but there's one more impressive. So there, there, here's a, here's a castle like house, right? You can see that. I don't know. It's a little dark cause it's, it's in the shade. A little dark. Let me, let me actually, let me flip it around. See if I can flip it around here. That's a really big, beautiful home there's a lot of beautiful homes in here but there's this one this one here spe specifically is just a really gorgeous home and it's really interesting because down the road here there's a house that's almost identical so keep this house in mind and we're gonna walk down to the next house which is it's it's just a block away we're gonna walk it down here just a block away here and we're gonna look at the other house keep that one in mind because I my guess is they were built by the same person. They're very castle-like homes. All brick, all brick castle-like homes. Uh, see, there it is, there it is back there. Still see it. Um, I saw some new, new, new words being spoken here. Um, uh, make, make Karens, my bad. Oh, they, oh, male Karens, male Karens. Okay, yeah, yeah, my bad. I was like, make Karens. I, I really wish this text. I, I need glasses. Hey, where did, where did, what does that say? Um, the truck looks like your style. The truck? What? I don't know. I don't know what truck you're talking about. Um, Falcon pickup. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember it. Anyway, we're walking on. We're going to walk on over here because, uh, I want to show you this other house. I will turn this thing around too. I will say, as much as I appreciate this thing being the marker when I first moved to Long Beach, it's a little bit of an eyesore now. Because if you turn this around, you have this, let me, can I block the sun? Could I, we have this tower right here, I'm trying to block the sun. But you have this large condo right here with these beautiful homes right here. It's a little bit of an eyesore. But 
Uh, I do appreciate it in the sense that it was my marker for the longest time to know where I was in Long Beach. Now, Long Beach is not a small place. It's not a small, it's not a small, it's a, it's a pretty big town. I want to say it's the, it's uh, either the third or the first, uh, first, wow, that, that came out weird. Um, it's either the third or the fourth biggest city in LA County. I want to say it's the third, but I, I, I could be wrong on that. Anyway, let's, uh, right there is the other, let's see if I can block the sun here. Block the sun, sun blocked. Now you have this big, this, this condo in the back here, but here's the second house. It's also a castle house. I like this castle house a little bit better than the other one, but they look the same. I mean, look at this thing. Let me, let me cross the street. Let me cross the street here. Cause I think we can get a better shot of this. Cause this is a beautiful home and they decorate this thing around Halloween and my god my god this thing is beautiful with the big they got the big 12 feet skeletons just kind of they have like four of them kind of in a row here and they have all kinds of other stuff around Halloween I got a short on it so yeah I, I don't know I really love this house it's beautiful and it's in a beautiful neighborhood I mean all these houses are gorgeous in their own way. Uh, if you're new, please, I see five people and only four likes. Please hit that like button if you're uh, just catching up here. Let me see if I can catch up with some more. Um, what's up, Greg? I don't know, Spoke. You tell me. What's up? Um, <laughs> me and Spoke like to mess with each other. Um, let's see. The tow road, hey, oh yeah, hey. Um, so much drama in the LBC. Yeah, there, there's some drama here. I remember, I remember that. They did do a great job. Oh, you remember the skeletons, yeah. Yeah, I remember that too, yeah. Skeletons are amazing. I mean, you got this big castle house. You have this huge, get my face out of the camera. So you have this big, huge, beautiful castle house and you just got these 12 feet skeleton, you know? 12 foot 12 feet whatever um yeah it's pretty amazing i really i really dig it and then they have they have like a little cemetery build up kind of it, it attracts a lot of people a lot of people come here and take photos it's uh it's it's one of the big winners and uh, it's, it, it wins halloween quite often on this block um uh, i want to get back to some of this um sup mike spoke yeah um, here we go. Here we go with all the all the hellos and haze. Eating dinner and watching the live watching the live. I know you have you probably don't have any pants on either. Mike, I don't think you have any pants on. So I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteeing you spoke is definitely definitely doesn't have any pants on. Oh yeah, that is the skeleton yard. Yeah. Yeah, so I did. A, I, I've never. I did do a whole video on it. I did a video of a bunch of places, and then that was the last one. That was. Uh, you say nope. I had to see now. It's when you uh, when you start denying things is when I really start thinking that it's probably the deal. Um, glad you guys are here though. I really am. Hit that like button, please. Help help that algorithm explode um let's see pants what are what are pants <laughs> exactly i'm not even wearing pants right now see i'm not whoa i'm wearing sweats sweatpants so i guess they are technically pants Ugh! um i don't care for pants <laughs> Yeah, um, what was that Ren and Stimpy show? Uh, one of the Ren, Ren and Stimpy cartoons where Stimpy just wanted to wear pants. I'm allergic to <laughs> pants. Uh, anybody else out there a Ren and Stimpy fan? At least of the time when uh, John K was the uh, 
the main director of the show. Love to do a history on that, man. I just I don't think it's anywhere near me. I know there's a I know there's an abandoned uh, Nickelodeon. Like there's a, an abandoned Nickelodeon house or not house uh, building somewhere. I've seen I've seen a I've seen a uh, YouTubesies do some some YouTuber do that that uh, that video. It's uh, I don't know if it's still there or not, but love to go. I'd love to go there. Nickelodeon. Anybody else watch Nickelodeon? Come on, everybody. Everybody watch Nickelodeon, right? Am I wrong on that? Well, I haven't seen, seen, oh, Ren and Stimpy in years. Oh, I watch clips of them on YouTube quite often. Um, they're just, they're fascinating to me. I mean, you know, the guy that, I believe the guy that, that created him, John K. I think his first name is John. Am I right? Am I right on that? It's been a while since I've talked about this guy, but he's a really fascinating guy. Such a like. He, I I know that he got he got fired. I mean, he was the creator of the show, and he got fired from his own show because he kept on showing up late, and he kept on putting out. Um, I'm trying to get this tree right here. It's got a lot of. See this tree right here? It's a palm tree. It's got a lot of vines and everything else on it. Uh, I only take my pants off while I'm oh while I'm working in the garage. Don't want to get them dirty or risk putting a hole in them. Well, <laughs> okay, Mike. I uh I, I highly doubt that's the only time you take your pants off. Take off the pants, Greg. It's California. No one will notice. Oh, uh, no, it's not San Francisco. Now, San Francisco, maybe nobody will notice, but here, they probably will. Uh, Ren should be for life, yeah. Went to an exhibit show. for jo It is John K., right? I was right. Uh, many years ago, love his work. Yeah, when I was in uh, was out when I was in art school, um, I actually uh, there was a there was a uh, section in the uh, it was uh, animate it was uh, animation history or history of animation, and um, there was a section in there, just pretty much it's a short small section, but they actually had a little section in in the animation class about John Kay. And everybody, everybody in the class, um, out of all the people, because, you know, you had Disney animation uh, history and stuff. And then they, they, when the John K. portion came along, everybody was interested in him. Because he's just such an oddball. He's such a, he's such his own person. And he doesn't really play nicely with, uh, Big corporations will say and so people didn't take kindly to that and he ended up being fired but I mean the show also just kind of went downhill a little bit for me I, I still liked Ren and Stimpy but I just thought it was better with I just thought it was better with John K um, yeah it's John you're correct okay yeah. I'm jealous of California winter sucks Winter sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you mean where you are. Yeah, it's beautiful here. It is. It is nice and sunny. I kind of forget how how uh, difficult it is to live in other areas of this of the country. Um, I mean, California is just really beautiful. Um, John Gay did the new adventures, the Mighty Mouse. I saw. Yeah, I remember that. And the show got canceled due to them sniffing the flowers. Right. Yep. I remember that. He, he was smelling flowers and they went up his nose. Yeah, the powder or something. Some of the, some of the, um, some of the, I remember some of the, the, uh, the petals went up his nose too. You, you, you can, you can call it like early. Hey. Hello. 
Oh, he's cute. Um, a little dog down there. Um, yeah, he, uh, I remember, I remember, that, that's like some early Karen stuff right there, man. Talking about Karens, Karens have been around, just, they just were under a different name back then. Um, but they're, they've always been around. What winter spoke? It's been like spring, most of it, a lot of la laugh out loud. Um, should do something on the history of animation and the impact it had on popular culture. Eh, yeah, I mean, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. That's his, that's his last name, sure. Um, I think that's why everybody just calls him. I gotta, I gotta hear that pronounced. I, I used to know how to pronounce that, but. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to butcher that right now. It's a really weird uh, last name. So a lot of people just say K to simplify that. Um, yeah, guys, uh, it's gone on to an hour, man. I think I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm going to keep these down to an hour. Uh, in case you're like new, I, well, not new, but new to the conversation anyway. Um, all of you guys are pretty much familiar faces, but um, I was saying that, you know, uh, I was thinking about maybe doing lives. I'm, I'm terrible at saying when I'm going to go live and I'm, I'm terrible at that kind of stuff and, and setting up the live in the, you know, into the future because sometimes I'm like, what if I don't want to do a live around that time? Or what if I can't? Because life happens. But I think as time goes on, maybe as if there's going to be like, if there's any more, uh, you know, um, interest, maybe, you know, the, the interest grows a little more. I plan on doing maybe an hour. I'm, probably won't be a week for a very, very long time. I want a bigger, uh, more involved channel before that happens. But for right now, um, I just want to, I want to, uh, keep it down to like maybe once a month maybe maybe twice a month if I feel like it if I have time I don't really have a whole lot of time anyway um people are always interested in what I'm doing when I'm doing this but uh look at them look at them walk away run anyway uh yeah, I um, I, I'm thinking about like maybe once a month, something like that. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, it's been a little over an hour, and I'm gonna call it here. Uh, if anybody has anything else to say, um, Mike, you want to tell me? You know, you got your pants back on. That's cool. I don't know. Um, other, otherwise, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it and. Uh, Skippy, I'll get in. I'll get in touch with you, man. I'm really interested in maybe doing that, that uh, uh, Hollywood, Hollywood Forever thing. Oh, spoke, spoke. Oh man, thank you, man. That that's much appreciated. I really appreciate that, man. Um, but uh, so um, I I will say that. Uh, Yes, Skippy, I, I'll get in. I'll get in touch with you, man. If you're still on, on this. Uh, commercialism, yeah, yeah. I could. Uh, he he's a really. Uh, yeah, he was. I, I know that they they canned him because they were saying that he was, uh, always late getting shows out and stuff like that. And I think it was true. He was, always getting that stuff out. Um, See you, Greg. Yeah, Toll, thank you for showing up, man. I appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody, too, man. Uh, a cheap, a cheap, <laughs> yeah, a cheap effort, yeah. No, man, Spoke, I appreciate it, though, man. That's, that's, that's really kind of you. I know, I know you got deep pockets with all that, uh, with all that editing going on. Um, have a good night. Yeah, good night, uh, Mike. See you next time, man. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna call it here guys. Thank you spoke so much. Thank you everybody else for showing up and uh, I'll see you guys I, I'll see you guys soon, but uh, as, as a live broadcast probably not for a month 
So, adios, guys. Adios. Uh, first name Greg. Last name Vlog Show. All right, guys. I'm out. Take care.